Hello everyone. So today we'll be going over a very important concept known as uh, weight of evidence encoding. So this will help you when a lot of competitions in Kaggle. Uh, right now only I'm training a, a notebook in Kaggle, uh, which in its last run was in top 10 leaderboard score. Uh, but right now I'm trying out a few different things. But uh, as you can see, I'm trying out uh, the speed of evidence encoding and the generalized linear model encoding as well. So uh, when to use encoding? Um, you have to use encoding if you want to use uh, data with categorical models in models such as XBoost or like GPM because they do not support uh, uh, string values. So you have to pass them as some sort of numerical values. The normal way to do this is to either use one hot encoding or use uh, some kind of uh, label encoding. But the problem with these encodings is that uh, one hot encoding will make your data too sparse if there are too many categories in the data. Label encoding does not really capture anything about the target into your category. So these encodings are, do not work well. Uh, Whereas the weight of evidence encoding works quite well and it is very simple. Weight of evidence encoding is just the logarithm or the percentage of negatives in your data divided by the percentage of positives in your data, which is equal to the logarithm of negatives in the group. Basically, the group of the category, you will see this in the dummy data, divided by the total number of negatives in your data, and same with the number of positives in the group divided by total number of positives. And uh, libraries do other things like regularization to make sure that this does not overfit because this captures entire uh, the output in it. So it is quite uh, leaky currently in its base form. So you have to do some sort of regularization to make sure that there's not much leakage of target. Uh, but as you can see, let's just create a dummy data frame. I've already created a dummy data frame with one categorical feature with nine values three A's, three B's, and three C's, with the target being this uh, two. So this is the dummy data frame. And we need to see how can we do the, lib, uh, what will be the weight of evidence encoding for all of these three. So we first calculate the value counts, uh, and then the value counts were six zeros and three ones. So uh, for feature column in category A, the weight of evidence will just be the logarithm of the number of negatives divided by total number of negatives so one upon six divided by number of positives in the group so two positives in the group divided by total positives total positives are three so this is logarithm of three by twelve so this is the value and for b it will be the again the number of negatives divided by total negatives for b there are two negatives uh, so this will be two by six and then one positive out of three one by three which comes out to be logarithm of 6.6, which is zero. Uh, for C, it will be infinity because there are no ones in C. So we will be getting into division by zero errors. So that's why you often add 0.5 to do it. But you don't have to calculate it manually, uh, this particular side. So uh, there's a package. Uh, Categorically, you can just import uh, uh, of evidence encoding and that will do the first job. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, do like and subscribe. Also, give me a follow at uh, mlexplain. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching.